Hey guys, Jacob Molina here with Pro Volumes, and today we are going to do some pre sanding before we do some wood filling. So, in this video, we're going to basically just go over sanding um, before we do wood filling, and the purpose behind this sanding is to smooth out the edges and allow for more wood filler to be used effectively. And for instance, uh, if your volume has a slight edge over a wood, you'd be using more wood filler there. So in sanding, you kind of smooth it out and it also allows for the wood filler to get in those roofs a little bit better since it has been sanded, so it sticks better. So um, some different tools that we have to use are a belt sander, and when using a belt sander, make sure you're going with the grain. We have a angle grinder, and with the angle grinder, uh, we're not gonna be using it for this, but we have used it in the past with a flat disc. Uh, it is pretty aggressive, so you guys should be careful if you are using the angle grinder, and we have a random corbel sander. Uh, this is what we are going to use today. Um, reason for that is it's a lot more controllable, and maneuverable around the corners and edges and it also has that random orbital function so uh, when sanding you don't have to focus on going with the grain it has enough random orbiting and um, when sanding you don't have to worry about it leaving ugly steps and whatnot so we're going to get started. We're going to be using the Rand Orbital Sander with a 80 grit. And uh, when doing this, if you have a lot to sand, uh, you can go ahead and use something a little lighter, uh, meaning a little bit more coarse. So, for instance, 40 grit, uh, 60 grit, those would definitely get the wood down faster. So, we don't have too much to do. It's kind of just smoothing stuff out. So, we're going to get to it. Uh, when doing this, make sure you are wearing safety glasses and ear protection and a mask just to try to keep yourself safe. Um, with our orbital sander, we plug it into the vacuum, which saves us from some mess, but we still try to be cautious. Everything has been kind of pre-sanded and smoothed out and it is definitely going to make using the wood filler a lot easier. So what we did was we smoothed out the edge and kind of rounded it out and um, it's not quite complete because after we do the wood filler we are going to have to do some more sanding and prior to painting we're going to do a little bit more sanding as well. Even though the Baltic birch comes pre-sanded, we're just going to take you through the steps on how to uh, properly sand and uh, that gives the paint and or stain a better grip on getting into those wood fibers and actually sticking. So we also took down the corners and rounded them out just a little bit. Uh, not too much, but the reason for doing this is if you have a sharper point and if you bang it up against something or it gets used um, it can be broken off a lot easier. So we just kind of round them out just slightly to the point where you 
can't really use them as feet, but uh, they're not going to chip off as easier. So this definitely makes a difference once that paint and texture is on, and overall just looks cleaner and is safer. So we appreciate you guys watching, and we hope you learned something. Uh, this is Jacob with Pro Volumes. Don't forget to check out the website where we have uh, plans as well as how-tos and lots of tips and tricks. So thank you guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Peace.